Steam, the mastermind behind titles like Half-Life 3, Portal 3, and Team Fortress 3, just not in this universe. However, Steam hosts millions of other games, some requiring your hard-earned cash, while others offer a breath of fresh air for free. So if you're like me, tired of playing Counter-Strike 2 against players with better gaming chairs, or just got bored staring at loose screen at League of Legends, here is 10 more free Steam games to play. Starting with One-Armed Robber, which is the sequel of not award-winning game called One-Armed Cook. In this one, instead of cooking, you'll start robbing. The good thing about this is you can play with friends. The sad thing about it is you can play with friends. So I played with myself because of obvious reasons, and I realized this game wasn't so easy. Firstly, I tried Silent Approach, then the Skyrim Approach, then trying to get in from the Window Approach, but sadly none of them worked. Then I realized I could use my Hitman skills, but I was never good at Hitman too. In conclusion, if you are looking for a rebound relationship after Payday 3, give this game a hand. Trying Peasant Royale felt like my love life. It's empty, it's free to play, and it is filled with cheaters. At first I was very impressed with the idea of Battle Royale in medieval ages, then I played it and changed my mind. And the reason is there are six players in this lobby, and these two guys teamed up to kill me. So in that very moment, this game taught me a life lesson, which is, no matter how bad it looks or how hard it gets, just remember, every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute passes. And with that information in my mind, I was able to beat these two plebs. And the moment I tried to teabag one of them, I realized you can't crouch in this game. So I had to use my imagination. Oh, hell no, man. What the Blaster Beat is a rhythm shooter, and if you don't know what that means, it means you should fire your weapon when the arrows pop up. Believe me, it is harder than it sounds. Playing it for the first time is quite hard, since the first thing your monkey brain tells you is to just spray and pray. But with a bit of time, you get familiar with the mechanics, and after that, it is pretty enjoyable. Even though it is good, I would like to play without the rhythm shooter mechanic. Continuing with the complex found footage, which provides the most realistic portrayal of my grandparents' journey to school. The graphics are so impressive that I genuinely felt a sense of fear for my laptop's GPU. What the? Overall, I won't prolong the review because having played thousands of hours of League of Legends, I find that I don't need horror games to experience fear. The only downside to this game is how short it is. Try Again is a well-done platformer that feels like inside meets portal in an eerie world. Not only are the mechanics impressive, but the story is also very interesting. I think if you want 15 minutes of fun and an interesting story, you should try it. The next game is Deathly Stillness, which is made by a solo developer. I find it more enjoyable than big titles, thanks to its excellent gun mechanics, animations, and eye-catching maps. Since there is no plot or story, it feels more like a tech demo, but even just killing zombies offers a couple of hours of fun. The developer has also added new game modes and maps, so I suggest going and trying them out for yourself. As most of you know, I've got a soft spot for FPS games. I tried to play Counter-Strike 2, but, you know, the gaming chair and stuff. Then I played Valorant, but it has precise gunplay. After that, I wanted to try some Call of Duty, but I couldn't even complete the main menu. So, instead of all this, I played Polygon, which is absolutely gorgeous and is only made by one guy. It has more precise gunplay, a better anti-cheat system, and, as it turns out, you can play the game right from the main menu. Additionally, it has recently been updated with a new map and other features, so check it out. I know this might sound ridiculous, but this game is on Roblox. If you've never heard of Roblox, here's what a typical Roblox game looks like. Frontlines is arguably better than the major titles of the last five years. It boasts precise gunplay, a reliable net code, a smooth movement system, and gunplay reminiscent of older COD games. Considering it was made in Roblox, it's a remarkably well-done job. In this game, you suck. And I don't mean it in a bad way. You can suck NPCs, you can suck players, or even suck at playing it. I'm usually not a fan of life-sucking experiences, but I don't understand why Blood Hunt isn't more popular. Before playing, I assumed there must be some issues with it, but after diving in, I'm amazed at how it isn't a big title. The graphics, atmosphere, and gunplay all feel incredibly polished. Sure, there are some optimization issues here and there, but nothing game-breaking. 
Also, the community is very helpful. I played two games in a row with this one guy who showed me around, taught me how to play, suck blood, and so on. And I particularly love the movement system where you can climb buildings, offering vertical gameplay opportunities. Overall, I really liked this game. The only issue it's suffering from right now is a low player base. But other than that, it was an enjoyable experience. I've heard about Rogue Company for years, but never tried it myself until a couple of weeks ago. To be honest, I'm surprised at how good it is. It might be one of the best third-person shooters I've played in recent years. Graphically, mechanically, and in other aspects, it is very fun to play. However, I think it is suffering from a low player base recently, so maybe this video would help in that regard. If you're looking for a good shooter, give it a try. In my latest FPS game video, I reviewed Operation Harsh Doorstop, and my experience was actually quite harsh, just like the name of the game. However, for this video, I gave it another go, and I actually kind of like it. I'm not a fan of milsim shooters, but I enjoyed playing this one. Since it's developed by a small team, there are many things that need to be fixed. But despite all of this, there were moments that felt very immersive and actually fun. As a veteran Battlefield player, I just don't like getting killed and immediately going to a black screen without understanding where the shot came from. But that's just me. So, if you're looking to try a free mill sim, maybe you should give it a shot. Just like that invisible sniper did to me. Landfall Archives is a game that lets you play with Landfall's dirty laundry. It's a collection of 23 game prototypes that never saw the light of day until now. Some of the games are not that good. Others have incredibly fun ideas and gameplay, and many of them have insane potential. But they all have the landfall charm and humor that you know and love. Whether you want to fight zombies, drive trucks, or simulate life, you'll find something to enjoy in the landfall archives. It is completely free, so you have nothing to lose except your sanity. The final game in this video is called The Finals. I'm not going to talk about how good it is, how they achieved the perfect destruction, or how chaotic and fun it is. No, I'm going to talk about the fact that you can place a guardian turret on top of a trash bin, and it will work just fine, well, most of the time. Alternatively, you can go to a snowman, attach C4 to its mouth, throw it at another player, and profit. You can also destroy an entire bridge in this map, completely altering the gameplay for the entire lobby. Or you can use this sledgehammer to demolish the crane and counter the sniper, who's been camping there longer than a COD campaign lasts. Overall, this game is a masterpiece which deserves every praise and more. This is the end of this video, but I've got an announcement. I've opened up a new channel where I'll be uploading gameplay videos without narration. I've just uploaded some finals videos, but I'll also be including different games that I mentioned earlier on this channel. So, if you're interested in seeing that kind of content from me, the channel link is in the comments. And, as always, thank you for watching. If you have any good recommendations for free Steam games, please drop them in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.